So I just want to talk you through snapping in Designer where you'll be able to snap individual objects to each other, to the page edge, to the page center, and uh, other page elements, for instance, design aids like uh, guides and also grids. So we're taking a look uh, here, we've got these two objects and by default when I move the object around in relation to the other object, there's no kind of alignment or uh, snapping behavior by default. So if I now switch on snapping via this little magnet icon here on the toolbar, I'll just enable that. You'll find that I can then get some snapping beha behavior and you'll see that with this red dynamic guide which displays when I align the top of the moving object to the bottom of the static placed object. So that's a, a red horizontal dynamic guide. And if I do the a vertical guide, uh, just aligning up like that, you'll see this green. And these colors are constant throughout the snapping behavior. If I then offer this particular object to touch it out uh, the corners with the other object, uh, you'll find that you get both red and green. And that means vertical and horizontal snapping. What I can also do is to also snap to the page center, like that, to margins, and also to the object center as well. So this is default behavior, and now I'm gonna show you how this all works in the uh, snapping dialog. And this is accessible via this down arrow next to the uh, magnet snapping icon. And I'll just click that. And initially, this is the default set of options that enables me to snap, as I've just described. But what we have is a series of presets which change the snapping behavior according to the type of design and the type of discipline uh, that you're using. So if I just click this here and we can see that uh, we have these options here. So page light, layout with objects is the uh, snapping behavior that I've been using. So that's pretty much these options here. And you see as I change to one that's more focused on object creation, the options below change. Curve drawing, UI design, with more focus on pixel alignment and general pixel work. Now if I move back up to this presets drop down and change this back to page layouts with objects, you'll see that we have this candidates drop down which is immediate layers. So I want to just show you this and uh, describe how this works. So uh, if I, I'm going to just switch these two off for the moment and switch this layer on instead. And because this is a, on a particular layer, I can just demonstrate that uh, as you snap with candidates set to immediate layers, all of the objects on this layer will be snappable in different ways. So if I then switch on some objects outside, for instance this one here, if I then try and snap this object to the, um, the central square along this edge, you'll see that it doesn't snap because it's not on the same layer. I'm just taking a different uh, candidate behavior. If I then change this to uh, candidate list, and I'll switch off these objects and switch on this layer where we have lots of individual objects to uh, snap to. Um, when we have this option candidate list set, we can set a maximum number of objects by which we can snap to. And this is uh, made a candidate by literally just hovering over each object in turn. And you can see this is a purple highlight as you hover over. And that makes these objects a candidate, but only up to the maximum number of six. So if I bring the maximum number of candidates down to four, you'll see that as I 
come and drag this particular uh, object, the red one, it will snap to this as a candidate, the light blue, the dark blue, and the white, but will not snap to this uh, light green and the mustard colored one. These are the four candidates that can be snapped to. If I want to enable these two objects and be, make them candidates, I can just simply hover over them and you get that flash of purple which tells me that they're now snapping candidates. And you'll find that uh, two of the other objects which were previously snapping candidates have now been released from that candidate list. Okay, let's just switch off this layer now and uh, just have a look back on this layer and I want to just show you how you can switch on the grid and snap to it. So do show grid in the view menu and you can see we have a, a nice white grid there and I may want to just change these and snap to the grid. But first of all what I need to do is to enable snap to grid. That's a very important option when using objects with grids and you'll find that we've got perfect snapping to the grid, just like that. I'll just switch the grid off now and just show you um, guides now. And I'll just switch on show guides. And we've got these four lines, the ruler guides, and I'll just show that using the same principle. If I just drag these objects in to the guides, we've got perfect snapping and alignment because we have snap to guides enabled.